Hello everybody, my name is Davis, and welcome back to another video, and today we are here for another severe weather breakdown. Now today, we are going to be talking about a very unusual storm that is bringing a severe weather threat to portions of California. So let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with the SPC outlook for today, where we have a slight risk of severe weather across portions of the Sacramento Valley today. All right, uh, tornado threat for today, you have a 5% chance to see a tornado in your town if you're in that brown area today. That does include Sacramento. This is very unusual for the Sacramento Valley. Really just unusual for the California area in general, but definitely something to look out for today. I'd say over the next few hours, there is a pretty small chance, but it is there that we could see a tornado in this area, so look out for that. Damaging wind threat, you have a 5% chance to see wind gusts of 60 miles per hour higher in your town if you're anywhere in that brown area today. That once again includes a lot of the Sacramento Valley almost going up into Redding. And then same thing for the hail threat. You have a 5% chance to see hail of one inch or larger in your town today if you're in that brown area, okay? Now, moving on to tomorrow, we have no risk for severe weather. But going into Wednesday, we have a marginal risk of severe weather at the moment for portions of northwest Arkansas, northeast Oklahoma, southeast Kansas, and southwestern Missouri. Now, this is not going to be any major storm, but I do suspect that at some point we do get a slight risk of severe weather somewhere in this area, probably going to be in Missouri, so look out for that. Taking a look at the NAM 3KM model here, we see that at the minute, I mean, we have some extremely heavy thunderstorm and snowstorm activity here in parts of California and even Nevada, okay? These are going to continue to head off to the east, and then by 6 p.m. this evening, I mean, we're still dealing with heavy snowfall and heavy thunderstorm activity in parts of California, maybe even some more thunderstorms entering Nevada, okay? And then by uh, midnight tonight, that cools off just a little bit, but we could still be looking at maybe some minor severe weather activity threat, but overall nothing major. And then by 3 a.m., really starting to settle down here, except for in Northern California, where we are going to be looking at some intense snow, to be fair. Okay, and then 9 a.m. in the morning, that kind of fizzles out, kind of turns into a little bit more of a storm, but still some heavy snow for portions of Northern California. And then, I mean, by tomorrow evening, we're completely done with maybe just some showers and storms in the Los Angeles area. And then after that, we may be even looking at another band of storms and snow coming into California. We'll have to look out for that one, but I don't anticipate a huge severe weather threat with that, okay? So, Finally, watches, warnings, and advisories. At the minute, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning here in parts of South Central California that, that is going to be for 1.25 inch hail and 60 mile per hour winds that will have expired by the time this video goes up, likely, but we may see a reissuance of it by the time this video goes up as well, so we'll see. We do have a couple of flash flood warnings. Those are going to be in the red there in the Los Angeles area. Los Angeles is under a flash flood warning. Pink's winter storm warnings. Some areas could see three to four feet of snow out of this and the highest elevations of the mountains here in California. Um, but even at like 5,500 feet, they're talking about one to two feet of snow, okay? So definitely look out. Something to look out for is landslides, okay? It's not going to be a fun time here if you're in Central California for these landslides, man. Um, we do have some high wind warnings up in effect for portions of Western California. Uh, some of them read gusts up to 75 miles per hour. So, I mean, take those seriously if you're under those. You gotta look out for that. Most of Northern California and Central California just has wind advisories, but still look out for those. Some flood watches in effect in California, even a flash flood watching uh, effect down in Southwestern California near Salinas. So look out for that. But other than that, pretty calm right now. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I will see you all in the next one and stay safe. Peace.